What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3. This is episode 12. And last episode we got our wand of animation and animated some blocks and got them into mob imprisonment tools. All right there. Now guys, I tried I got some bad news. I tried to uh your automation thing is just not working. It, it's not working. So I can't do what I like to do with the mob duplicator. Which thinks. But next best thing. Oh, sick has a little thing in his mic. I might have to mute him. Hold on one sec. <clears throat> but the next best thing is to uh just make a whole bunch of mob duplicators. We can still use these though. Oh, inventory, inventory issues. Sorry, let's set these down. Let's just throw some stuff in here. Got all these buttons in here for now. We're still gonna use buttons, uh, but instead of running five to one, we're gonna have to just run like ten of these things, which is okay. It's not no big deal. So we're just going to stack these up. I like this. Uh, that'll probably be high enough. How high does this spawn? Because uh, it spawns down two, spawns up two, so that should be fine. And then we need to get some range upgrades. I was going to run with these uh, tier three range ones. But they go just to the border. I think I'm going to take it in one. So then I'm going to go with the range two upgrades. Uh, so that will be this one, which is iron. So we're going to make a handful of these. That should be more than enough. And this should, yeah, that should be perfect. That's, I'd rather do that. And then I can actually go higher if I want, wanted to in the future. Let's turn this off. The iron tier is a perfect. Oh, I didn't lock. Fly. Dang it. And I lost my spot. There we are. We're gonna have to add some, uh, I wanna add some speed upgrades in these too. Uh, but the other thing with, have, with running a whole bunch of these is the there's a couple pros and cons, right? <clears throat> so one pro is that I can spawn more than one at any given point in time. Uh, so it's not limited to one out of five and picking and choosing which one's more important out of the five you know, out of each group. The con is that if I run more than these, we're going to, uh, I'm, right now I'm making sure it's all a spawn exact copy because as we saw at the end of last episode, we have to have spawn exact copy on. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna use a lot more essence. And with a lot more essence, uh, I don't think this farm will be able to keep up. So if this farm can't keep up here, then we're gonna have to do something else, which I think I'm gonna do anyways. I'm just gonna automate the production of essence. Uh, we have XP tiers, so we can take that liquid XP and then uh, just transform it into essence with the mine, the dictionary that Mine Factory Reloaded or Industrial Foregoing has. Sorry, still thinking the old old school. Uh, but what we're going to do right here is we're just going to put the dimensional transceiver on the bottom. This should all be set up already. Yeah, because this already had data on it. We're going to scan for screens. So now we got six screens. And we're going to come in the back here. We're just going to run all of our cables down. I'm going to put a little platform on the bottom, but we're just going to run all the cables for now. And we'll run them all the way up. And this will be a good time to get the conduit probe out. So let's see. Let's see if we have one. I think we. Nope, we don't have one. I'm gonna make one real quick though. Did that use my Yeti wrench? It used my Yeti wrench. I was making another Yeti wrench. And I don't have any stone gears. Uh, let's do that one. That works. All right, Yeti wrench. There we go. So this, if you hold shift and then use your mouse wheel, go into conduit probe, uh, should be copy mode, paste mode. 
It's hard to see because of all that stuff on the bottom. Let's see if I take my armor off. There we go. So, you know, shows you right there. Oh, no. Wrong one. Yellow is copy. So, shift, right click will copy whatever the settings are. But we need to actually do the settings first. So, this is going to be just, uh, this is fluid. So, it's just going to be insert always. Uh, so we can just shift right click and then it's just right click all the way up and you'll see it turn from two arrows to one arrow. Uh, normally I change the colors just to uh, make it easier to see. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is item conduits and we're going to run these all the way up. I don't. Wait, do we need item conduit? We don't need item conduits, do we? Okay, let's take these. We don't need item. Con oh, that takes both of them down. Who doesn't like to do more work, right? I mean, that's that's my motto. Work harder, not smarter. That's it. That's still fluid. Okay, this set this setting should still be saved. So we 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 had a few extra minutes of our time. Make sure that they all go to the right arrow. There we go. For some reason I was thinking these things were going to kill them too. And that, that's just not how these things work. What we do need is redstone conduit though. And this is going to turn them on and off. Let's run this up. All right. I think that's all we need. Oh, no, we do need power. Obviously everything needs power. So let's go to conduits. Do we have... I was already at conduits. Uh... I don't want to use that stellar. I was having some weird bugs with it earlier today where it was just draining, or last night where it was just draining all my power. So we're just going to run these all the way up. Like nothing was using the power, it was just draining all the power. All right. That looks like six back. Let's see if we can get him back in chat. Are you back I'm in now? Chat. I'm in chat. Well, I had to mute you because you weren't here, and it was just making this horrible feedback while I'm trying to record, so I had to mute you. Uh, uh, I was trying to say, but you had me muted, apparently. It was saying my... I'm trying to think what great it was. And I, you have to edit it. Huh? You recording right now? Yeah, right this second, I am recording, and I just unmuted okay. you, so if you said a wordy dirt, then no one heard it. <laughs> I'm trying to think right now. I'm tired. All right, so we're going to put my gear back on, because we don't need it in our inventory. So we're, this is going to do all these, uh, and then we have our screens out here. Do we configure, do we push that? Yeah. Okay, so screens are captured. This is the pillar of awesomeness. All these have power. And we need to set these to active on redstone signals. So we do need to go through and change all these to that. Uh, and two more. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is build our, a little platform on the bottom. So let me build that and I'll be right back. All right, I got this platform built out and then I got nine receivers. And what we're going to do is just going to run the rest on conduit down this way. <clears throat> and then, oh. I'm just making a mess. Down. Just going to run it over here. And I'm pretty sure this is a spawnable area, so we're just going to throw some torches down. And what we're going to do is just color code it, pretty much. So, the first one is what? The bottom one is going to be a neutronium block, so it's going to be black. So, if we throw this in here, it should not run. We're going to change this signal to black. Pretty sure there's a black on here. 
get black. Uh, we're going to take a, we need to get a button card. And we're going to hit this with a button. Let's configure to channel five. And we are going to put this in this screen. And we'll label this in you for now because I want to just test it, toggle it in you. There we go. No. So, what I probably have to do is come over here to this conduit, go to redstone. We're going to output a black signal. No, still nothing. Right now, nothing. Active with redstone sigma. And I do have this on toggle. Got it on toggle. Let's do this. One's not, there we go. This way I can tell if it's actually on or off because it's hard to tell right now if this is where it's messing up at. So this is now linked to channel five. I'll put this on the bottom. So it says on right now, so that should be correct and this should be running. Uh, but it's not gonna run because active on redstone signal, but it's not gonna run guys because um, we're missing a key. Ingredient. It's called liquid essence. <clears throat> so I have to set this down here. And where's my fluid pipes? And there are fluid conduits. I have to run this. Here. And this is going to be extract always. All right, so neutronium blocks are spawning. If I turn this off, that should turn off. Yes, and it does turn off. Le perfect. Oh, kill all these and get all these neutronium blocks. Got eight neutronium blocks. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do this one. And so we're gonna color code it. As, as, well, we'll just leave that one in there. I don't think we need that one. This one's gonna be emerald, so green. Emerald in here. Come back here. Set this signal to a, let's do lime green. We'll come down here. We're going to set this to lime green. Oh, input lime. We're going to take our button. Oh, that just cute all those to six. Yeah, clear them back out. Six. We need uh, another redstone button. <clears throat> Should have some up in this chest. And then it's literally just going to be uh, rinse and repeat, guys. It's, it's pretty boring. And then filling out all the screens. So let me get all this together, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do about this essence, because uh, we're going to run out of essence real quick if we uh, do it like this. So if we run this many. Oh, no, this goes on the screen. But we'll test this last one out together. And this is going to be, and it's going to be toggle. Oh, it's running too. Why is it running too? Stop it. 
Uh, well, another technical difficulty. Let's figure this one out. BRBs. Alright, guys. So, I got pretty much everything hooked up. We have to do every other one, because, uh... If this red signal's on, it's reading... Well, this block's reading... That, I don't know. Stupid. But, we technically still have one left over. Because I really don't know what to put in here. And we're still... Well, as of right now, anyways. And the emerald one... Can I took out because I mean we can just plant more seeds. So we got the neutronium. <laughs> so now we're literally just getting blocks neutronium. Nether stars. Yeah, so that's getting all the nether stars. Ultimate ingots. And then stellar ingots or blocks, I should say. They're not really. Yeah. And we can add more. I mean, we could double it up, like put one here. Uh, or put one in the corner. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things we can do, but right now I'm not really worried about it. It's kind of area though. We got stuff everywhere. So our next thing we have to do is we have to get. Uh, We have to start automating liquid XP. <clears throat> so to do that, let's see. It's empty, right? Yeah, it's empty. Throw all this in the system. We don't need any of this stuff right now. I actually wouldn't mind storing this stuff in a gargantuan drum. What do we need? Two gold pressure plates. And that should be that one. These are pretty easy to make, so we'll make two of these. And then, so let's make some demonic iron. Oh, we can make a demonic iron. I don't know what we'd actually use it for. So, and we're just gonna make a nether well. What in the world did I just pick up the same thing? It's painting glass on this. So just pretty much make <clears throat> make another well. And then you need uh, a bucket of lava. Do we have a bucket of lava? No, we don't. Get one. I think there's some lava here we can use. All right, and then all you're going to do after this is go have a whole bunch of gold. We'll just make a handful since we're here and you just throw it in there. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> and you get a stack. First stack. Now we got our demonic ingots and then this is done. So you can pick all this up because you really don't need it. Unless you want to keep it. Uh, there's a way to automate it, which is using that, which is actually pretty cool. You can use a barrel from uh, Batania. That drops straight down. Oh, I should have kept some of that. Demonically sized drum. The biggest drum in the game. Bum, bum, bum. I remember whenever they were called bedrockium drums. Man, those were a pain to make. This is way easier than it used to be. Alright, so we're just going to... I guess we'll just automate it down here. Because we have this nice little platform, and we're only going to actually get rid of these last four if we need more room, or build out a bigger platform. And I think I will have to run an ME cable kind of far, but that's okay. Though. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to make a fluid exporter. Because uh, I want to take out what's in our system already. Need a piston. Just gonna stick this here, and I should have a bucket of essence uh, in the system already. Yeah. And with these fluid conduits, all you have to do, you just get a bucket of whatever fluid it is and just 
left click in there and it just puts it in there and then this will slowly fill up uh, we could get some acceleration cards now we're gonna need more than that let's just craft a uh, 200 I craft pretty quick <clears throat> we have just about everything There you go. All right, stick this in there, speed it up a little bit. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to get uh, a fluid um, dictionary converter. So what do we need on the bottom? We need an iron gear. And what this dictionary converter is going to do is it's going to take uh, the essence from the solidified XP. So the next thing we're going to want to do, the easiest way to do that is to get an ender tank. But I'm going to make a compressed ender tank because they're a little stronger. Our pressurized ender tank. We should have everything. Yeah, there we go. And this will also get rid of some cables. So we can auto feed into this. So we're going to auto... Right mouse buttons being a pain. All right, and then we need an export bus. Export. We got plenty of those. Stick that right there, and then we're gonna get solidified XP. This stuff, eighty-two thousand worth in our system. We're gonna put it in there, and then this should solidify it, and this should take it and put it in here. All right, so this is what we have, and we want to take it, not that. We want a bucket of essence. All right, so empty that. We're going to grab another tank. And we got some empty basic ones here. There we go. And we're just going to put it on this side. And we're just going to pull it out here. Essence of knowledge. There we go. And then that will be filling up with fluid essence. And to clean these out, just put them back in your crafting grid and I'll take it out. All right, and then from there, we're going to take some ender fluid pipes. So we need some more conduits. Ender fluid conduits. We're just going to run this from here to here. This is going to be insert. And this will be extract always. So this should pull from here. There we go. And then it goes in there. So we can speed this up. We can just add more tanks uh, and speed it up to make more. But I think we should be all right. If we need more, we can make more. All right, so we can do this too. <clears throat> we'll set up another little system, depending on how much you guys have of everything. So we're going to get a user. I want a mechanical user. So we need one of the redstone crystals. We need a dropper. There we go. And then this thing, we're just going to sit right here. We're going to need another export bus. We're just going to export in the top. Let's run the cable up and over. Now this thing is going to export uh, experience droplets. There you go, it's already, it's already doing it. Let's get some ACC cards. That's not what I want in there. In here. Does this have ACC in it? I don't think it needs it. I don't think this pressurized tank's fast enough to deal with it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is also with Ender IO, there's a vacuum. We want this uh, XP vacuum hopper. So we need to make a pulsating crystal. There we 
go. And we'll stick that there. Does it need XP to start? I think this actually needs XP to start. Uh, we have a tank here, so we'll grab, we'll just use, reuse this tank. Throw this in there, and then we're just gonna get a bucket. Any regular bucket. Because I think you just have to put XP in this thing, if I remember correctly. And then once it has a bucket of liquidified XP, it should start collecting it. Back up. Collecting it? It looks like it's collecting it, right? Alright. I think it's just dancing around it. Oh, it's full right now. So now we can take this uh, uh, and your fluid conduit. And we are going to run it to this side because this is just regular liquid XP. This would be extract always active. This should be insert. Might not be the same liquid XP. Hold on. Let's uh, let's just do this. Put that on top. Set the bottom to drop it down because it's all the same thing. And that should fill this up faster. These tanks really aren't fast though. And then we'll just run this up. That off and then we'll just do insert it means working to get an exit or ex essence and then putting it in there and now that it's uh not full you can stand here and it'll still suck it up before it lets you get it so that yeah <sighs> so that's two ways of doing it <clears throat> and then of course we get essence from killing the things we made essence with but now this thing should be able to run i just come in here like go all of them. We want ev all the things. You got feed everything over here. You got set up auto crafting. I guess we can do that. Uh, chest. I don't want a chest here. All right. It says it should pull from adjacent inventories. So what we are going to do is we're just going to make this simple so we don't have to worry about it. So we're going to get an export, export a bus because we're exporting all the things today. What are you doing? <laughs> Take that loop away, sir. And then we're going to put that there, no, but we need one spot open. I don't want a crafting card, a craft. Crafting card. I don't think we have one, so it should be. What? Okay. I thought I made a pattern to make these. I probably did. I'm just not seeing it. We're going to put this here. All right. Yeah, we're going to leave it on the, first, the standard one. Then we're going to need. Uh, in crystals. That's what this is exporting is in crystals. And we need a dimensional transceiver. And that's going to go here. So now we need to go teach a system how to make crystals. He gets the detergent. <laughs> so the first thing we need to teach it is how to make no gas tears, which we have gas tears in the system, so it's gonna be that. 
And we need to teach you how to make nether stars. So we got blocks, so it's gonna be that. And then we need to teach you how to make glass panes. Choose glass. And then we need to teach you how to make the actual crystal itself. And then that should be it. We already know how to make glass with our alloy smelter. We just come down here, we got some free room and throw all this stuff in here. All right, and we did that right, then there should be crystals being pumped in here. There we go. Guys, if y'all liked the episode, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if, what are you doing? He just randomly dipped. <clears throat> so, but yeah, if you guys liked the episode, don't forget that hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button. And until next time, guys, take it easy.